How's it going everybody and welcome back to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now throughout the video the objective is to provide you with tips to win more gunfights and make you a better player. Now to start things off you want to set your sensitivity in a range that feels comfortable for myself that would be anywhere in between the 5 and 7 area. However to each his own if you find something a bit lower is more comfortable for yourself I definitely advise you guys to go with your gun. Now secondly you want to stick with a gun that you're confident using. It's something that is good both long range and short range. For myself, that's the HVK-30 Assault Rifle. It has the iron sights of the Honey Badger from Call of Duty Ghosts, yet its ability to mow down people from long range is amazing. Now moving on, some necessary attachments I definitely recommend using in this game are Grip, which will assist you in your gunfights by reducing your weapon's recoil, and Quick Draw, which allows you to aim down your sights faster than usual. Now. Stock is actually an attachment that I'm kind of iffy about this game, a lot of my subscribers are too from what I know. Basically, it's not as effective as it was in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and previous Call of Duties in general, as most guns just feel fast in general, so I would advise you guys to not waste an attachment slot on stock just because it doesn't really do much, it's not really useful and uh, I just haven't really noticed much of a difference. Now, moving on to some more complex tips, I would advise everyone watching to switch to a tactical layout. Now, by doing so, your knife button becomes circle and your prone button becomes R3, and what this will allow you to do is to drop shot with much more ease, just because tapping the right analog stick to lay prone is uh, just more closer and it's more efficient than having to switch your fingers around and your thumb all the way to the circle button. So, I would definitely advise you guys to drop shot and switch to tactical quite a bit more Another technique that can be used is the jump shot. Basically, by jumping and shooting your enemy, uh, you're throwing his aim off just because he doesn't really expect you to move. He's just aiming in that one spot. However, movement in a gunfight is just absolutely crucial. Now, lastly, I would advise you guys to take cover and wherever you guys can find it. Uh, preferably behind a crate or behind a car or in high traffic areas in general. Places where you can get a ton of kills, get your score streaks, and just have a good time. And by doing so, by taking cover, you're kind of limiting your enemy's ability to shoot at you as opposed to him seeing your whole body, uh, per se, if you hide behind a crate, as opposed to him seeing your whole body, he's only going to be able to see your head as you're in a pretty good advantage point and you're in a head glitch area. Now, as I said before, this will put you in an immediate advantage point and uh, 9 times out of 10 you will win the gunfight if you're in a head glitch position. Now, all in all, Hopefully these tips can help you guys win more gunfights and make you more successful in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's been Toxic here, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, I'm nearing a huge milestone, and like the video if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching, it's been Toxic here, I'm out of here guys, see ya, peace.